quick, just a quick video, just come back from doing the weekly shop and um, what I tend to do is just do um, a writing menu out for what me and my wife are going to be needing for that week and the items that are needed to create that menu for the whole week and stick to it. But I do tend to sort of stick um, a little area of the trolley um, open and ready for bargains and things that I think will be useful for um, storing away for a rainy day, should we say, okay? Now I was absolutely gobsmacked over the last two or three weeks. Um, make no bones about it, I shop at Tesco, I'm not paid by them, etc. It's just a, a store that's near to me and it's, they do some good deals. And um, incidentally, they've been in the press recently, so don't be fooled when you see these big yellow um, tickets on the food items and stuff. Um, only pay what you think it's worth. Don't let the, the big deals and the special offer thing fool you. If you think it's not worth it, doesn't matter how loud they try and shout about it, don't fall for it, okay? So, there's quite a few items, so we're gonna try and go through them quickly, okay? Um, these, I've used before. Now, um, Scott and I from Wessex Blaze use these quite a lot when we're out in the woods. That is ideal, that will, um, once you um, put water in it, that will fill up a whole Crusader mug full of food and it's it's crazy and for a base meal I mean obviously if you wanted to you could add to that you know spices meat you know wild edibles leaves etc 20 pence and it looks like they've improved the packaging it's like um, it's plasticized so that will probably sit on the water as well and it's not going to ruin it used to be a sort of paper um, coating with a sort of foil inner but that's a lightweight plastic. No artificial preservatives, flavours, colours, or MSG. For 20 pence? Crazy. So, so what I've been doing is just doing you know, a pound for five packets. A pound. I mean, come on, what's a quid? <laughs> I could be on a sandal like half a day just trying to sell you shit. I'm just telling you where the good bargains are. Um, these. These are pretty cool as well. Um, what's the date on there? Best before February 2020. And that's gonna last, I guess, another two years, maybe three on the outside, past that. That's a pound. Now, one of my mates, um, Colin on Instagram, um, the Tesco is where he is, they send there a pound 50. So I guess it might be different. But, um, you know, for a quid, can't lose. You really can't lose. Um, also these, um, tomato purees, now I don't usually go for all the budget stuff but when I've done some um, reading on the items of this one and the, the priced one above that, it's got exactly the same ingredients in it and they're actually um, produced in Italy so you're going to get good quality tomatoes in there. 40 pence, bargain. So I've got two of those, put them in the cupboard, forget about it, okay. Uh, where else have we got? Baked beans. They work out at 50p a tin, which is all good by me, and they're going to last a few years as well. Most tin foods are pretty good, but just remember, you know, keep them cool in a dark place, keep them out of sunlight, and they um, should be good to go. Now, these were pretty good. I have these pretty much every day when I'm at work with my whole grain rice. Mackerel fillets, £1.50 a tin, and there's over 30 grams of protein in there, and again, they're going to rock on to about... 2018, 2020. So, got a little stack of those. Again, just put all this on the shelf and forget all about it. You know, when you do happen to um, lose your job or you run out of money or something, and you can't really afford food, when, when things are bad, you just go to your cupboard and you can carry on. You know, it's not all about the zombie apocalypse, guys, okay? Um, in my last overnight video, I had a tin of pineapple chunks and um, I consumed that two years past its date and it's fine. Um, just bought another one to replace it, um, that runs out in 2017, so there's no reason why you can't get another year, maybe two, on top of that to store it away. Now, non-food items. These were cool, I think these were a pound or a pound fifty. They're three little glow sticks in there, but they're like, um, they're smaller, so you can fit them in all sorts of pouches and places to start it away. So for a couple of quid, you've got some emergency backup glow sticks. Don't need batteries. You can get them under water and it's fine. Now, <laughs> my cat bless him, he's been struggling with a knackered old beat up stainless steel water bowl. So I thought, 
I treat them, I get them a nice new one. But I couldn't believe that. It's not a bad quality stainless steel, it's not bending, so it's quite tough. And that was a pound fifty as well. So I've got a couple of those. I mean, I'm going to give the cat one and that spare one at a push. You could probably stick that on the fire and boil up water you can eat out of it. It's not going to rust. It's lightweight too. So yeah, for a pound fifty, a nice quality stainless steel bowl there by Summit. It's just a budget version of C to Summit, I guess. So yeah, a couple of those. Um, these, I didn't see how much they were, but I've got a feeling they're around five or six pounds or so. They're three lightweight dry sacks. Um, the literage is two, four, and eight liters. So, individual items within the Bergen, put them in something like that, roll them up, clip them, and they're pretty much waterproof. You know, you can go for river crossings with stuff like this inside the kit. The items inside these, within your um, liner in the Bergen and your Bergen as well, you're guaranteed your stuff's going to stay nice and dry. So, for a cheap price, that way, buckle as well. So yeah, a set of three dry sacks at Tesco's, everybody. Um, this, I'm going to have to refer to my notes there, yes. Tire weld as a backup. Everyone should keep that in a vehicle, okay? You're going across um, loads of wasteland or the wilderness and you get a flat, part, flat tire. You know, use your inflating device, which I'll do in my truck. You plug it into your cigarette lighter uh, compressor, inflate your tires. Whack loads of that in there, it will just seal up all the holes. And um, £3.50, £3.50, how cool is that? Incidentally, the guys who work at the tyre shops who, who fit and change tyres, they hate peeling with tyres that have had disc chucks in it. So, it doesn't matter, they're not going to be with you when you break down with a flat tyre, okay? So yeah, £3.50, get it in your kit, get it out of the way. This. This was the last one on the shelf, and I've got a feeling these are going to absolutely vanish. Now, where was the price on this? And this, I couldn't believe this, it's a fire extinguisher spray, and it has reduced to clear this dock, and that was £3. Can you imagine that? I've never seen one before. It's just like an aerosol can. You just put out fires of it. <laughs> you haven't got to fork out an expensive, quite large fire extinguisher with a handle. As a, a little backup for a fire that's in its infancy, you know, that will put it out. You, you shouldn't tackle big blazes or something like this. That's insane. But yeah, we've got um, examples of use um, a flaming jerry can, an iron that's caught fire, car fire, a Christmas tree fire, a microwave and fire, a barbecue that's got out of control. Um, it would do um, bins, fuel, and electricity yeah, to a thousand volts. So yeah, that's not a bad all-in-one household fire spray for three quid. So there is another one that's more expensive. I think it's eight pound. It looked a little bit smarter than this, but it doesn't matter. Okay, three quid. I reckon these are going to go quick. So get them. They're, they're really going to vanish quick. And WD forty. That was two pound forty-five. I think for a two hundred mil can. You know, I always keep one in my bagot vehicle at all times, and they're very useful. Okay. So for that price, again, put it in the shed, put it on the shelf, forget all about it. This one is um, nothing to do with Tesco's. Um, I ordered these on the internet a few weeks ago and they arrived recently, all the way from our lovely friends in China. <laughs> uh, some of the products are good and some are bad, obviously. So you just got to sort out the wheat from the chaff, I guess. Um, I'm thinking of these, birthday candles, to go in your survival tin. Brilliant idea. I think I've already got one or two in mind. But these ones are the joke ones. You blow them out and they reignite. So can you imagine that? You're really desperately trying to get a fire established and it's blowing a gale and it just keeps... Let it blow out and it'll relight again. And I can't remember how much these were. I think... I really can't remember, but they're really cheap. I think you get two of them for a pound, you know? So um, again, I've got um, four packs of those. You know, I'll just stick a couple in my survival tin. And I might give away a few, I might just do some survival kit stuff for competitions and whatnot. But no, for the price and for, you know, they, they um, relight after the wind blows them out. There's loads there, spot on. Yeah, there's 10 per pack, so I've got 40 of them for a couple of quid. Can't be too bad. Right, that is just a quick, um, brief video on some bargains that I've discovered from my local store. Um, check yours out. As I say, these items, because they're cheap and they're on offer, I always buy my stuff, that includes all of my kit, clothing, um, equipment, gear, 
I always get it at discounted prices. Never, ever, ever pay full price. Don't do it. Only desperate people who haven't got time pay full price. So think ahead of the game, keep one eye on the future, and that sums it up. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay funky.